What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Coming at you with another uh, fragrance experience upload yet again. Uh, to get to today's subject matter, as per the title, uh, I will be covering with you the 7ml of Roger Dove Enigma or otherwise known as Creation E. And again, going for the 7 ml bottle i didn't go for a full one just because when i had initially obtained it i wanted to uh, get to experience it first prior to obtaining the actual bottle uh, of raja parfum enigma or creation e so enigma is the naming for the european market and Creation E is for the North American market. So prior to walking through you through my experience with this, we will touch base on Roger's musings, which are always entertaining to read, and uh, the notes. Okay, so first off, we are gonna go into the description. Uh, and it goes like this. A fragrance which expertly balances the balsamic sweetness of benzoin and vanilla with the dry masculinity of tobacco and cognac. Enigma is an enticing experience which transforms any who wear it into a man of mystery and intrigue. An unusual effect occurs where the slightly powdery and cherry-like tones of heliotrope mingle with the mouth-watering quality of the vanilla and benzoin and appear to fizz as the boozy splash of cognac creates a delicious cocktail which is enjoyed alongside a fine Cuban cigar as the smoky tones of tobacco are given a hot spark by the gentle spicy notes of cardamom, ginger, and pepper. So top notes are bergamot, heart notes are geranium, rose de mai, neroli, jasmine de grass, and heliotrope. Base notes are cardamom, ginger, pepper, patchouli, cognac, tobacco, sandalwood, benzoin, vanilla, and ambergris. And that takes us over the notes involved with this Enigma or Creation E. Here we go. We're going to go ahead with spraying Creation E. And my God, <laughs> this is already... Wow. Okay. All right. So in terms of residue there is a slight oily residue to this right here i'm not sure if the camera is going to capture it not too much but it does have this um greasy sort of quality to it wow it's just delicious delectable I get, so I bought this as a blind buy just based on the hype around it online. And it's just, the best way I can describe it in one word is happy. If happiness had a scent, this is what happiness smells like. It's such a fun scent to have on. It's just boozy, gourmandish, delicious, happy, bright, fizzy are all words that come to mind to describe this. And it's just amazing, amazing. Um, now, in terms of the notes mentioned, uh, I find that a lot of the base notes like cognac and tobacco come across quite strongly and uh, that's from the get-go. You get quite a bit of the fizziness with as per the description as a function of the benzoin, heliotrope, but I think a lot of the fizziness also that sort of Coca-Cola quality or attribute is also a function of the ambergris in there because ambergris has this fizzy uh, quality to it. It's also surprisingly creamy and that's kind of a sub-attribute of the a gourmandish aspect which is going to be a function of the vanilla uh, in here and um, you do get the ginger 
uh, it's also part of this fresh sort of uh, package in there, including the bergamot and the ambergris will play into that. Uh, in terms of geranium, rose de main, neroli, jasmine de grass, and heliotrope, I mean, so that's the heart note. I get the heliotrope, the others, I'm not really picking on them that much. The heart note in here is a bit weak. I actually find surprisingly the base note to be the strongest, followed by the top note, which is the bergamot, and then the heart note being the geranium, rose de main, neroli, jasmine de grass, and heliotrope kicking in. Now, um, overall fantastic fantastic scent um, <laughs> blind buy qualified yes you will not regret this uh, but I want you to keep in mind that this is in the category of coca-cola fizzy scents so if you ever smelled scents that have a coca-cola fizz vibe to it like when you put a cup of coca-cola or a bottle as you open it, it fizzes and you smell coca-cola wafting through your nose this is more or less what that is, obviously with uh, the slight variation there for the other notes. So that's really what you're paying for. So just keep that in mind as you go about blind buying this. If you like these scents, go for it. If you don't, then you know don't pull the trigger. But in terms of just how delicious, how nice, how delectable it is, how um fun and interesting it is 10 out of 10 uh this is one of those scents that will garner you compliments just because it is such a fun happy scent if you're a happy uh go lucky fun kind of a guy because this is marketed for guys i think girls can pull it off but let's stick with guys uh this is your scent okay if you're happy go lucky <laughs> this is your signature scent this is the kind of scent where people not only are getting your looks, your vibes, and your attitude, but they're also gonna associate this happy-go-lucky scent with you too. So you have one more characteristic added to your list, um, and that is the happy-go-lucky scent. Now, in terms of performance, as of now, my skin ate most of it up, and it's only been, what, a few minutes since I've applied it, uh, so with my skin, I say the performance isn't the greatest with respect to uh, projection For me, this is more of a skin scent uh, Surprisingly, uh, so it sticks very close to my skin does not project that far off Maybe if I sprayed in excess of four sprays It'll start to project just because of the quantity of the paper But I would say that for me, this is a skin scent uh, in terms of you know uh trail again unless you spray a ridiculous amount of this i do not expect it to leave any trail in terms of silage i think you can have a bit of silage again if you spray a lot of it and that will be uh, a silage that doesn't last kind of too long and it will be more like a think of it as a vapor a mini vapor cloud within your vicinity not too far off from you so it's still kind of with you now um what kind of seasons you can wear this actually let's start with time of day i find you can wear this morning or evening but just because of how playful it is how naughty it is uh, i would say it's probably more of an evening night you can pull this off in a club uh, or a bar which would be a like a more high-end bar not like a pub uh, but the thing is is that there's always gonna be these guys wearing Versace arrows and like Dior and other like really obnoxiously loud sweet scents so this will get overtaken by them however if you don't care you just want to smell good happy have a good time and as people get closer to you they can get a whiff of your happy optimistic scent then by all means this is a great clubbing scent without being overbearing like a lot of the other scents like what comes to mind constantly is Versace Eros or Jean-Paul Gaultier uh, wow these are some scents from way back in the day when I was <laughs> anyways um, so that it can work like that I find that it's an evening scent especially if you're having fun it's it's a great scent to have 
Uh, seasons wise, I think it's gonna do great in all seasons. I think it's such a versatile scent that you can wear it for all seasons. In terms of, can you wear this to, to the office? I'd say it depends on your office culture. Uh, I personally wouldn't wear it because it's such a fun, happy-go-lucky scent. And while it will make you come across more friendly, I doubt people would take you more seri seriously with this on. Uh, just because it's such a happy-go-lucky scent and corporate environments, unfortunately, have issues with fun, happy people. You need to be miserable and serious. <laughs> so... Um, so yeah, I, I wouldn't wear it corporate. I, I would wear it uh, any other setting outside of corporate where you're out to have fun and enjoy yourself. It's a fantastic scent. Otherwise, you can pull this off with formal attire, semi-formal or casual. It works great with all of them. I'd say it's more formal, semi-formal leaning, uh, but works with any attire perfectly. Uh, the compliment factor, you will get compliments with this. Uh, you will not get compliments from the younger crowd, in particular uh, younger ladies, since this is marketed to guys. However, more mature, sophisticated, educated, um, well-banked ladies are going to compliment you on this a lot. It has an air of sophistication and maturity to it, even though it's playful. And I do find that more mature ladies pick on that and you're going to get more compliments from that group <laughs> of ladies. Um, so yeah, it, overall, it's a fantastic scent. Uh, great creation by Raja. And absolutely adore this one. Whenever I just want to have fun, put it on. It just adds to the mood and kind of, you know, vibes with your vibe, kind of getting you going. Uh, but yeah, 10 out of 10 for this one. Um, if you were on the fence about buying it as a blind buy and you've never smelt it or you can't smell it, go ahead and buy the seven mil uh, before you go for the 50 or larger bottles and try it out. Uh, but yeah, I don't think you're gonna regret it. It's such a great scent. Um, and I haven't really put my nose on anything else like it. There is a lot of sort of fizzy Coca-Cola category of scents out there. But this is just, I think, in a league of its own. It's just playful, mature, sophisticated, at the same time, classy. And I, I think very few other scents are going to keep up or match with this. All right. So this is it for Enigma Creation E by Raja Dove. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate your time and attention. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.